How does ADB Bandwidth Reservation help you? Bandwidth Reservation is a key differentiator in ADB, and the techniques used rely on IEEE 802.1 QAT. A talker on the AVB network will advertise its stream and specify the required network bandwidth directly to the switch that it's connected to. All switches network-wide become aware of the streams available and the bandwidth those streams require. Now imagine a listener would like to receive a stream on the network. That listener can simply request to receive the stream from the nearest switch. The switch will then determine if there is sufficient bandwidth available for that stream to exist without overrunning the ports required for the transfer. In fact, if the required network path involves transfers across multiple switches, each switch is involved in the bandwidth calculation. This becomes a very important calculation in uplink ports between network devices. Once a stream has been determined to be achievable on the network, the bandwidth required for the stream is reserved across the entire path. But this reservation only happens to a limit. This allows other network traffic to exist. This percentage is actually adjustable within the switch configuration. So why does this matter to you? The advantages of the network vetting and protecting the media path are pretty obvious. But this reservation requires a network to participate in the media exchange. This is another reason that AVB-enabled switches are a desirable thing. As data, control, and media start to converge into a single network, this automated bandwidth reservation will become more and more important. However, audio transfers typically require very little bandwidth. Systems with video will really start to reap the rewards of bandwidth reservation. In our next video, we'll discuss how ABB handles quality control of the media stream. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insights, tutorials, and answers to frequently asked questions.